welcome to King Snake's Review Pit. Today we'll be reviewing Philip H. and Salmo's Walk Through Exits Only. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. A solo album by Phil and Selma? I mean, it's still kind of a band thing because he has the illegals and they're all amazing players. Um, but it's not like Super Joiner Down or any other project. In fact, it's very different from any one of those. So, if you're going into this looking for Down, you're not going to get it. Go buy a fucking Down record, asshole. You know what I'm saying? So, it starts off with um, the music media is my whore, or something like that. Uh, which, it's like a, it's just like an intro. It, it, it's, a, it's a full song, I guess. There, there's vocals. And it's kind of weird. It's not what you would expect. It's like a fucking uh, kind of march sounding uh, song. Like a, like a metal march type of thing. With a uh, Phil sounding kind of weird, but it's cool. I, I mean, I dig it. It's a cool intro. Uh, I'm not going to go in order here, but uh, we got Battalion of Zero. Which, uh, he repeats this, uh, phrase in it, heads up, hands down. Which I think he's referring to, like, you know when you go to sh fucking metal shows now, you have all these assholes, probably you guys, with your, uh, fucking iPhones up in the air, taping the shit the whole time for YouTube, which is so fucking stupid. Just enjoy the show, headbang, fucking move around. You guys are sucking the fun out of concerts, and it's ridiculous fucking young kids are gay and I don't mean that like homosexually but you're, you're faggots but anyways stop doing that shit fucking head bang whatever heads up hands down I get you Phil good job fucking kids speaking of the kids the kid Phil Anselmo is like he's awesome on this record his voice is better than ever fucking uh it, it kind of reminds me of how he sounds on Reinventing the Steel, that that kind of Vince Helmo, without the singing, just the scream. He has that brutal scream back. So if you picture Reinventing the Steel Phil while listening to this record, you'll like it a lot more. Because this one you're not going to get on the first round. You're going to have to listen to it a few times to, to really dig into this one. Because there's a lot of music packed into it. Fucking cocks. Uh... They, a lot of my friends that are Pantera fans and Down fans that have heard this hate it. Like they, they can't stand it. They think it's just a jumbled garbage, and uh, I don't know what the hell they think. But I told them to listen to it a couple of times and give it, a, you know, gives it some life. So, Italian is zero. Heads up, hands down. A fucking killing song. Unrelenting heavy metal. Uh, you know. It, it doesn't sound like Super Joint Ritual. Like, it, it's heavy, like Super Joint, but the guitar playing is so much better, so much uh, crisper. Crisper. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go on. Bedroom Destroyer. Fucking brutal song. Heavy, fast. Uh, vocals are awesome. You know, it sounds like he, he's chewing on bricks. How brutal his fucking voice is on this. Chewing on bricks while taking it in the ass by a fucking Satan. Anyways, uh. There are two other tracks that aren't on this that he, Phil said they were gonna be, but they, they just left them on the War of the Gan Gargantuans, uh, Conflict, and Family, Friends, and Enemies, or some shit. Both tracks are really good, and they're actually easier to listen to than this record. Unless you listen to it a couple times, you know. But, uh, what else do we have? Uh, Bedridden, which is my favorite song on there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm, I feel like I'm bedridden at the moment. Just laying around all day, fucking around on YouTube. But... It's a killer song. It, uh, fucking lyrics are awesome on it. It, 
and he writes lyrics, you know, to where you can make them mean a bunch of different things. Uh, he could be talking about one thing, and the listener can get what they want out of it. They could put it to some situation that's going on in their life, you know, if someone else can relate it, you know, like a jock could relate it to fucking something he's doing, a, a goth fucking frail young man can relate it to something going on in his weird life. So, it, he's a master of lyrics. He's, he's up there with the best. Um, let's see, uh, we got uh, we already did music media as my whore. We did Bed Red End. We also have the title track, Walk Through Exits Only, which is a, a very frantic sounding metal track, kind of all over the place, but it, it, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, especially after a few listens, like I said, you're going to need that. Um, <laughs> Just killer lyrics on this one. You, you have to go out and buy the album so you can read the lyrics. Unless you really want to dig them up on the computer, not pay for the shit. But, I mean, the dude's running a small record label. House Court Records, from what I understand, it's a pretty cool label. It's cool to the bands. And, you know, give those guys some fucking support, will you? Jesus Christ. Fuck. Fucking broke motherfuckers. Uh. Usurper's faster rant while while I'm ranting, you know. Uh, check that segue, fuckhead. Uh, I love this song. It, it's my second favorite on the record. Uh, like I said, I like the picture of reinventing the steel fill, you know, the unhealthy, crazy dope head fill on that one. Because. Uh, the vocals are similar, like I said, except for the, the singing. He does some reinventing the steel. But it, it's a badass fucking tune. It's, it, I don't know, it has this weird, like, brutal lumberjack sound or something. Just like fucking. The, the music, it's just. Uh, the drums are kind of like off time a little bit, which makes it sound like real. I don't know, unpolished and grimy makes me think of someone just stomping around in the fucking woods on fire it's nuts it's just, the whole record comes with imagery you know just fucking poke one back and listen to it and you'll have a fucking blast you know what I'm saying King Snake definitely gives this one two thumbs in your butthole and one in your badge I know or one in your butthole, one between your nut sack, like between both balls, right under the wing. Killer record. I don't know if I missed any songs. Uh, now, uh, Betrayed is a very frantic song. Uh, again, there's a few just frantic songs. It reminds me of uh, someone. I don't know, dope sick in their bedroom, fucking sweating, going nuts, and breaking shit. Just, uh, that, that's what it sounds like. Uh, maybe he wrote that in that period of, of his life, which is probably ten years ago. Who knows? I'm sure he has a stockpile of songs. He just, <coughs> uh, uses for different projects depending on the lyrics and what they look good. That's what I would do anyway. Um, but definitely two thumbs up. Uh, thank you for sticking around with King Snake's review pit, and uh, let me know what you want me to review next. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go back and do the first Ghost record, Opus Eponymous, and uh, get that up here. I actually seen them live too since the last post. And I actually saw a ghost in a old church that they turned into a, a concert venue. Pretty bad out of Because they still had the stained glass windows and whatnot. But we'll be doing that. Catch you later. Good work, Phil.